He didn't say I did the wrong thing by not responding sooner, but he did seem to address critics' concerns in this speech. The question, I suppose, is whether they're going to be satisfied. Well, that's exactly right. He said racism is evil. He named specifically, called out specifically and repudiated some of those very elements that uh, Republicans and business executives, as well as liberal activists and kind of American centrists, have been calling for since Saturday. And the question is uh, twofold, but one is politically uh, how much damage has been done to President Trump and his distance from the Republican Party. Uh, and second of all, uh, will it be the beginning of kind of a healing and a unity process? <clears throat> for the country, we still have a couple weeks left to August. More uh, protests entirely possible and expected in the coming weeks. Was he able to kind of stanch this so that we don't have a repeat performance and another need for him to come out and say the same? But I think uh, uh, there's two areas we'll be looking at. One is in terms of fellow Republican lawmakers or office holders around the country. Will what the president did and say satisfy uh, those concerns and bring them back together? Or will there be this continued kind of you know, backlash. And on the business front, uh, is the Merck uh, executive's stance going to stand alone or will others follow? Right. We saw GE Chairman Jeff Immelt say that he was going to stay on the council. He did not necessarily condone uh, the president's initial response, but he was staying put on the council. Uh, Margaret, I want you to go back and just kind of reflect on how President Trump gave his statement, because what I found noticeable was there was not a lot of ad-libbing. He was definitely reading from a teleprompter. That's right, but there was uh, one crucial decision that the president made, uh, and it looked to be the president's decision, which was to top those comments uh, about Charlottesville, which is what everybody believed he was uh, gathered there for, with an introduction talking about the economy and the kind of positive performance uh, of his presidency so far in this one area. Um, that, uh, that certainly is a strategic goal, both of the new uh, White House chief of staff and of the president, to uh, highlight uh, positive accomplishments of the administration. Um, but it was an interesting choice given sort of the fragile emotional, you know, atmosphere and expectations surrounding uh, his remarks.